just caught me joining a 3 plus 2 blitz arena on chess.com. We're about 15 minutes behind, so we're going to have to work hard to try and catch up here. But I thought I'd make a bit of a different video, see if you guys enjoy me playing live in this kind of format. This is interesting. What if I take? What if I take? And then take. And then drop back. These pawns, they're not looking very scary. Not gonna lie. How are you going to prove an advantage? Cairo Khan is the best. Okay, good move. But we're gonna defend. Expecting this. Um, it's annoying. I can't take because takes, takes, and takes. My pawn opens up the queen's attack on the knight. Knight e7 might have been better. Bishop e7, takes, takes. We attack the rook, so he doesn't have time to take. We can probably go knight to e4. Because I think this exchange is good for us. Okay, that kind of stops knight e4. The knight isn't very impressive here. I don't know why he didn't go to c3. Let's castle. So our knight's no longer pinned. Also castling can't be a bad move, right? We are threatening here. Forking like that. So he takes. I think I like this. His pawns are a bit weird. Pawns are a bit strange. a5 looks tempting. Don't see a reason not to play it. A3. Mm. E5 isn't really scary because C5 is weak. Now what happens in these structures a lot of the time is that white can break through with these queenside pawns and create quite a... Sorry, my mic just cut out. Um, so I just paused it real quick. But yeah, these pawns can become a it's scary sometimes but right now I don't think they are a5 might not have been the best because it makes it easier for white to bypass my a pawn but okay let's go a6 and we'd like to trade if not we just create a luft for our king by playing h6 if the opponent just retreats the bishop we could maybe play knight d7 Keeping an eye on c5 and offering a trade of bishops if he drops back. I kind of like that. And then play a move like rook b8. After the exchange on e7. Where our queen will also be joining the knight. And keeping an eye on c5. d5 is very well protected. So no concerns there. What we want to do is stop b5 from being effective. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So. This is a potential, but I, but then the, the knight gets in and that's horrible. I'd love to play e5, but we can't. Here I'm worried about this. Because our queen no longer defends d6, which is frustrating. Hmm. Let me think. Got a bit of time here. Here, here. Okay, let's just start with rookie eight. Can't be a bad move. The rook's not doing anything on f8. Can potentially support e5 in the future. White doesn't. White doesn't have any threats. Queen g3 looks annoying, but then knight h5 forks. Rook e1, good move. It's really cramped here. I feel like I might have misplayed this. Hmm, how should we continue? Here, here. I really don't want to allow that. Hmm. 
I kind of want to play this. Bishop d6 is playable, but as long as we don't take it, then we're fine. And if the queen gets to b7, then we're putting a lot more pressure down this b file, which I think we probably need to do. Okay, h3 isn't scary. Let's continue with the plan. Force the rook off of the a file. Now, if we take and rook takes, queen d7, we're probably happy because this pawn is weak. Let's do it. If he takes with this pawn, we get the A file. I want to play this. Pressure the knight. Could double up. E5 is an idea. But we take this pawn probably. And I think we're good. I think we're good. We should be. Ooh. Yeah, but what if I take on C5? Also, this is being set up for the future. Okay, let's take. Sorry, I was just showing this. It could be quite powerful. Okay, but we're happy to trade queens here. Yep. Attacking the bishop, attacking the knight, pressure on f2. Good move. Attacking our bishop, even though his bishop hangs, but we can take with check and take the rook and take the bishop. And our opponent crumbles at the end. Let's take and come back. Put the knight on d5. I want to go rook. Okay. I want to go this. This doesn't work because our knight takes and defends the rook. Opponent resigns. There we go. Okay. We need to win a bit quicker if we're going to have any chance of catching up. Because, like I said, we joined like 15 minutes late. So, if you're currently enjoying the video, please drop a like and subscribe for more content. I'd appreciate that. I I love the Karo Khan, but we need to win. So I'm going to play a bit of a hedgehog structure. Hippo, hedgehog, whatever. Let's go h6. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we get the setup. Now, what about this? You gonna push? Nope. And if we take and C no B five E five I like E five. No, I don't. I want a queenside castle. I want to queenside castle. Where do I put my queen? C5 takes, takes. That actually looks quite good. Let's go. C5. Maybe knight there was good. So let's play. Mm, do I want to play a6? I think we need to. Because knight v5 looks really scary. I don't think he can take we exchange. Okay. Now, what about... Hmm. No, that takes our eyes off G7. G6 even. Take. Take. Don't like that. Let's do this. I don't like our position. But I think it might just hold together. Okay, we can't take here first because he'd take on f7 with check. Let's take with the bishop. Want a queenside castle. If he takes, then I think we have to take like that. But that opens up our bishop, 
which is nice. We need to play a bit quicker though. Need to play a bit quicker. I feel like I'm not playing very well today. I don't really know what's going on, but we're not losing yet. Yet is the key key word here. So let's see. What is our opponent going to do? And also, what is our plan? Okay, that's a weird move. If we take, then knight takes. If we castle, then takes, takes, takes. We could play e5. I think we have to. I think we have to. Now, this does block a bishop off. Yes, I'm aware. But f4 looks nice in the future. Maybe even b4 if we can get a knight there. But also, b5, b4. Our king is actually kind of safe right now. We could even queenside castle and go for a same side attack. That's an interesting move. Okay. So assuming he wants to put a knight there. We'll do that. I'm going to shuffle the king. Okay, there we go. He's not threatening anything, so let's go b5. I think this is our source of counterplay. Maybe bishop c8 to get on this diagonal. I think I'm going to do that. Try and challenge this. Okay, good move. Now we're going to go here. Defend this. Offer a trade of bishops. If we take with the queen, then he takes there. I don't want to take with the knight because I want the knight to go into c4. So we're going to take with the rook. Knight c4 would be great. Okay, we've got to deal with that though. Or do we? Or do we? Queen moves. What about this? What about this? Attack, attack. If takes, takes. This is opened up. Bishop is still under attack. Okay, we might be all right. Also blocks off the rook's attack on f7 for now. This is starting to look up. It's not good. It's not good, but there's hope. There is hope in the position, I think. How is our opponent going to respond? We do have rook f8 if we need, but then g6 and the pawn's going to be pinned in future variations. So f7 is very weak. We also can't really take the knight because then the h pawn is going to become a problem. Okay, let's take. What about this? Just defending. I think this is good now. I think we've, we're out the woods. Okay. This. Yep. Pressure. I want to play queen a5. Put pressure on white's position. Our queenside pawn structure is actually quite dangerous for our opponent. It's taking up a lot of key squares. Our bishop is great. Okay, that can't be right. So that also gives up the back rank if the knight moves. This. I was going to say this. Then queen takes and he's alright. But I think we just have b5, b4. I can't move. This should win. It's not bad. That's not bad. 
Okay, knight take, that's not anything to be worried about. Let's take with the bishop. Queen here, gonna mate him. Gonna mate him still. There we go. Next game. Okay, okay, okay. Climbing the ranks, but first place is on 17 points, so... I don't think we're going to catch him, but we can have a good time trying. Have a good time trying. <sighs> Another e4. We're going to go Karo this time. Okay. I think we had this in the first game. Have we had white yet? I don't think we have. Um, this isn't the normal move order. Okay, let's just go here. Normally the knight comes to f3 first and you get bishop g4, then bishop here. Knight e2 is also weird. Let's ask him if he wants to take. He does. Hmm. Where are our pieces going? Rook b8? Let's do it. Pressure b2. I want him to take me. I don't really want to... I think I might have to take him and then go c5. Our pieces are kind of struggling to get out here. I don't want to play knight e7 because it blocks the bishop in. Queen here. I'd like to exchange everything there and then get knight e7 castle and say, yo, e5 is kind of weak. That is the dream. If I take, take, there, there, hmm, okay, what about knight h6, then this falls, I think we have to take, I don't like this position, <laughs> I don't think I've got a position that I like yet, knight e7, has to be played, otherwise knight c6 with a 4, Bishop d7, I think we're okay. This isn't so bad. e5 is going to be weak eventually. We can go something like this, but then getting this rook out is going to be difficult. Because here, here, right? Ooh. Can he do that? Queen here. If you want to trade, I'm down to trade. Because I've got a horrible position. Then I can go queen e king to e7. And I'm probably better. Because I've got a pass d pawn. Yeah. Okay. Bishop d7. I don't know why he exchanged the knights. I had a horrible knight and he had a fantastic knight. Okay, he's really helped us out there. So, yeah, maybe I had that, but I didn't want to allow the queen to get in. Okay, now this is back on. So, let's see. Can't go here because of this. Can I go here? Offer a queen trade. I really want to trade the queens because I want to go king to e7. And get the rook out like that. Yeah, I think we're better now. I think we're better. Because we're very active. And we've got a pass d pawn. It's 2 on 1. Could be scary, but he's going to have to prove it. He's going to have to prove it. It might not be that easy to prove. So... Doing all right. Doing all right here. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm expecting rook ac1. And... I don't know. How are we going to respond? Rook ac1. 
Ooh. Look here. Rook there takes there. Takes. I think we're good. So we're going to win full trade. And he can't go here because he loses the knight. So here, here, and then b3 falls. And the important thing is we control the a and b file so this rook can't double up. Whoa. And if I go here? This knight isn't going anywhere. His squares are taken up. Dude. He's just let me get both my rooks to the second rank. I, I don't know what he's doing. And now, everything's fallen. We're going to do this. Attack the rook. And, you know, I'd rather have f2 than a2. Because f2 is a better pawn. Let's go here. Take. We're a pawn up. I control the only open file. Okay. I kind of want to do this. Or I can do this. Yeah, that looks better. Here, here, open up an attack. Yeah, you, you can't play that move, man. You need to do something a bit more active. Anything. Something like here, here, to try and trade the rooks, because this is an issue, and it's not defendable. He just didn't defend his second rank, and yeah, I mean, it's going to take. King's got to go there. Again, my headset just died. I don't know why. Don't know why. It just does that. Okay. I could do this. But I think I'd rather go here. Why, you may ask? Because I don't like rook c7. And even if we went here, 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 then rook c7 is still annoying, because our king can't come forward, because it is pawn. Okay, now this knight hangs, and we take. And let's go f6 to get rid of this annoying pawn. Yep. I want to go here. Okay. Let's check. Here, here. I think that's mate. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep the win streak going. Let's keep it going. What are we currently? 20th? Okay. But 20th out of like 600. It's not bad. Considering, again, how late we joined. Let's keep the win streak alive. E4. This might be our first white game, actually. So, I'm going to make it count. Uh, I'll take an auto-resign. Go on. Go on. Give me that auto-resign. Come on. I want to play chess. There we go. Auto resign. <laughs> Very skillful win. We're against 2000 now. Oof. This is going to be tricky. Okay, I like this line. It's like a um, it's it's like a Scandinavian except in a Scandi the pawn's supposed to be on c6. So, it's kind of good for us. It's it's, it's like a good Scandi. Okay. What if we just drop back? What if we do that? And then... 
let's do it here here but here don't mind that put a bishop there could take and damage the structure hmm don't think I want to let's think what's the plan I don't see how that helps because his bishop's going to come out. So let's just take the D file. And then. Let's go here. Stopping anything from coming to D8. Now, if he goes here to challenge the bishop, we're going to take. If he goes to D7, got to bring the bishop back. I think we double. Let's double. Yep. I kind of want to play this, but no, I don't think it's good. How do I make progress? Not easy. Let's start with h3. Just give our king some breathing room. See what he does. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I <laughs> just didn't move for a second. I want to play king f1. Don't ask me why. It just looks right. Okay. My mouse is not working properly. This is fantastic. I might as well think of a plan because it is not working. I'm going to reload the page. I don't know what it's doing. Hello? There we go. Okay, what's the plan? I don't know. I am... This is really tough. I do this, but then it, that allows Bishop there. I want to move the knight and allow his knight in. Do this. Don't like it. G4? Dude, I don't know what to do. I genuinely have no plan. How is that possible? I just don't have any, like, ideas. And we're low on time, but at least we've got increment. So our opponent has all the time in the world. But it looks like he's struggling to come up with a plan as well. I might actually, I can't offer him a draw. Don't know why I just exchanged there. Just gonna be down a pawn. Ah, this is not good. I should not have traded. Ah, bloody hell. going to be down pawns mm. um okay down two pawns got to try and make something happen that's an odd move i assume he's going for this just allowed that why that doesn't even do anything. It's easy to defend. Let's keep on fighting. See if we can do anything.
I'm expecting this. All that. This is terrible. This is just game over. He plays that, I'll resign. All that, I'll resign. <laughs> because it's the same idea, he's just going to fork after I take. That was a horrible game. I had a good position. I had a good position, but I just couldn't f find anything to do. Which is really frustrating. Really frustrating. He was a good player, you know. Okay, well, I really need to win this because if I win, I get zero points, like zero rating. And if I draw, I lose eight. And if I lose, I lose 16. So it's a good job. Our opponent does not know theory because this knight does not belong here. This C pawn wants to go to C3 or C4. So we're just going to develop. Take an exchange if he wants. Okay. Do you want to take? Nope. Mm, let's go with push. And uh, mm, let's go rook c8. I want him to castle. No. Okay. What about this? What about that? What are you gonna do? Here's an attack on your queen. C2 is under fire. Um, let's do this. I want to open the C file. Now he can play C3 now. Maybe I shouldn't have allowed that. But I kind of like the... Ooh. I don't think that works. Is there, there, there. And I'm going to win C2. Should have pushed it while you had the chance, buddy. So yeah, the bishop's just got to go back. You got to go back. G2 is hanging as well. Okay. I missed that, in fairness. Well, if I go here, then this. I think I have to go to D2. No, d7, sorry. Okay, I did miss that. Now our bishop takes up this square. Queen here, our queen takes up that square, so the queen has no way in. And we can take. So our king is exposed, but, 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 when the queen moves now, I think we can throw this in. isn't as winning as I would like but okay we could just try and trade the Queens actually that wouldn't be a bad idea whoa okay I don't think this works Huh. But what about this? You gonna come back? No. That doesn't look good. What about this? And I'm threatening Rook here. I don't think he can stop it. I think his bishop really needed to come back to e2. Because this is a very weak diagonal now. I think this might be lights out. I might have to play queen b1 so that he can do this. Is he going to see that? Okay. Okay, that works. Granted. I 
don't think we have to react. Maybe this was better. Okay, I'm going to open this up. I didn't really want to take here because he opens the h file. It could be scary. I think my king is safe on d6. You can always drop back to d7 if need be. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, we are up a pawn. Okay, let's... There, there, there. Right. Right. And we win the bishop. Also threatening this. Okay. Queen can go to c8. Yeah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Hmm. <sighs> this is very annoying. Wow. What to do? What to do? I think our king wants to try and run over here. I'm going to play here. This, this. Oh, wow. So we're going to have to do this. There, there. You sure you want to take? What about this? There, there. He runs out of checks. He also can't castle because of the bishop. And my rook wants to come here or here. And harass the king. Also, the f file being open could be good for me. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, yeah. So check. I want this, this. There. Okay. Let's move the king. Let's try and play this safe. Rook f1 is stopped by the bishop, which is quite important. Okay. Um, let's go here. I'm actually going to run up with the king because this diagonal is kind of exposed. Okay. Uh, check. Check. Takes. Going on a king walk. Check. Are we going to mate him? Oh, now we must be. Check. Okay, let's just go for a queen trade. Nice and simple. And there. Go check. Check. There we go. There's the win. Our opponent made it very difficult, but the game is finished just in time. Just in time to get one more in. Just before we reach, well, the hour mark for real time. Because that's how the arenas were, I believe. Oh no, they actually won for two hours. I'm not going to play two hours, man. I'm not going to play two hours. Surely. I've got stuff to do. I must have stuff to do.
Um, okay. E6. I, I actually do have stuff to do. I've, I've got an essay I really need to write for uni, so <laughs> I'm going to have to finish it after this game. But it was fun nonetheless. Okay, we can do this. I don't think that's good for us though. Let's offer a trade. Yep, I'll take that. Let's attack. And here. Ooh. Okay, buddy. Let's go castle. Can't be a bad move. Looking at C5. Okay, I'd like him to take me. Like that. I'm going to go here. Okay. I'll take you then. Sure. And... I'm trying to look for tactics, but let's just go C5. Nice and simple. Now we are threatening to win a pawn. He goes there. I'm going to put more pressure on. Okay. And let's take. Okay. And rook c8. Double up. Stop rook c1. I want to play rook here because I want to win this pawn. I would love to win that pawn. Because if this pawn falls, this pawn is very weak. And then we can just try and trade down into a winning endgame. This um, pawn structure is quite weak. It occurs in a lot of positions. But if you if if, if black Sorry, my, my my headphones just keep disconnecting. But as I was saying, if black can undermine it, it can be very bad for white. And I think we've just achieved that. I'm expecting this. No. Okay, what if I take? Now we're up two pawns. I am a dirty little pawn grabber after all. Let's just drop back. I want to go here. We're kind of freezing white. Because if white takes any of these pieces off of the back rank, then I could play here. Although if he moves the queen to like there, then he's still defended. But Let's go here. I want to go here. And I want to go here. Of course I could play rook c2 first. But I don't see a... Yeah, I guess White could have just done this to kick it out anyway. Let's think. Let's think. Here looks good. There, there. So I want to go a6 first. Okay. It's actually quite annoying. Let's... Go here. If he goes there. So we are threatening this. So he, Whoa. Okay. Well, that's mate. You can't defend through a piece. I know I said that was going to be the last game, but I'm going to play another one because... Because that one was just so nice. So clean. That I want to do it again. I want to do it again. It's an addiction. I have an addiction to pawn grabbing. Okay, strong opponent, Scandi. I literally played this line in a video that should already be out. Didn't quite go like this, but I did mention this line and said that I quite like it because I love pawns. And we just up a pawn. 
maybe I could take, but I'd rather not, unless he makes me. Let's go here. If I go to f3, this is very annoying. Okay, now he's going to make me take, but I force him to play that extra move. Let's go castle. Okay. h3 queen e1 I want to move the knight actually I can go here there there maybe that's scary maybe that's scary let's go d3 so c2 doesn't hang gets our bishop out Well, I was expecting bishop d6. Interesting. What if we go here? You want to trade? I'll take trades. I will take trades. I am up a pawn. Okay. Opponent doesn't oblige. And if I take you? And offer a trade. I'll be very happy. I'll be a very happy man. Sure you don't want to take me. I might just double up if you don't. This can't be played. Okay, he doesn't want to. No trade. <laughs> hmm. Here? Let's do it. Trade. Trade. Everything's attacking everything. Trade. Let's just trade. You know. Queen's hanging, bro. Queen's hanging. Knight's under attack. You don't have a choice. Do not have a say in the matter. We're trading. It's re Chess is sometimes just this easy. Go up a pawn and trade everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> what more is there to the game? Ah, okay. So if I take there, he opens up the g-file. That's annoying. Granted. What if I go here? Attack the bishop. Okay. If I go here, he opens the h-file. That doesn't work. c2 hangs. Potentially. Hmm. There? There, there. There. Let's do it. I think that works. I think that works. Because I don't want to take and open the H file. Okay, but that just fertility. There facilitates more trades. Let's take. Here is now covered. But can we do anything else? This queen's quite nice, you know. What about this? I don't think that does anything. This? Let's go here. Let's do it. Trade with me. Trade with me. You might say this is a weak pawn. Yeah, but how's he going to attack it? How's he going to attack it? He can't. Unless he trades pawns, which obviously I'll do. We're on 30 seconds though. It's not ideal. Not ideal, but if he doesn't take me, say he goes like here, then h5. Whoa. h5? Here? Okay, I missed that. But what about this? Take. 
It doesn't work, bro. There, there. Yeah, but the queens are getting traded. He's pinned. Yep. Yep, and that's expected. But what if I defend? And what if I go here? And then here. Push that I'm going there. Then I win. Push it. No. Okay, I'll go here then. And I want to go here and force a trade. Because I now cut off the D file. Yep. And what if I take? And they just come right back. Um, yep, let's do that. This is not scary. Because I go here. Yep, trade. Fork. Should have traded with me, buddy. Should have traded. Let's take. Yep. I've got 10 seconds, but I'm up a rook. Let's go here. Let's go here. Just move quick. We dominate the two open files, which is very important. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There we go. Game over. We're going to leave it there because I was very happy with that game. We literally just went up a pawn and then just traded to every piece and then and then eventually won. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stuck around till the end, you are an absolute legend. And I am going to transfer all of my love and joy to you so that you can become a pawn grabber just like me because that's how the best chess players are made so if you enjoyed this kind of video please let me know because like this is a bit different to what i normally do i know so if you subscribed already and you're like bro why are you doing like live games you're terrible anyway most of your games are boring then like valid valid please let me know if that is the case <laughs> but um hopefully not hopefully not i'll um i'll see you in the next one if this hasn't put you off.